The biggest judicial crisis in independent India remains unresolved four long days after four of the five senior-most judges in the Supreme Court went public with their concerns that all wasn't well in the highest court of the land. Unless this institution is preserved and it maintains its equanimity, the democracy will not survive in this country or any country. Chief Justice Deepak Mishra has finally met the four dissenting judges. That is Justices Jasti Chalameshwar, Ranjan Gogoi, Madan Lokur and Kurian Joseph. But the fact remains that he has refused to once again allocate even one case among seven cases that will now be heard before the Constitution bench from January 18 onwards. And so, a sense of disquiet continues to prevail not only among the judiciary and the political class, but across the citizenry, whose last court of appeal, whose last cries for justice, remains none other than the Supreme Court. Take a look at the seven cases that Justice Deepak Mishra has refused to share among these four dissenting judges. And we aren't even talking about the two petitions that are seeking an independent probe into the death of CBI special judge B.H. Lawyer in 2014, which in any case the Supreme Court has now adjourned. The first of these seven cases relates to the criminalization of homosexuality. That is the all-important case around Section 377. The second, to restrictions on the entry of women into the Sabarimala temple in Kerala. Third, the question raised by a Parsi woman barring her entry into a fire temple because she had married outside her religion. Fourth, a petition challenging the adultery provision in the Indian Penal Code, which says that a woman cannot be punished for adultery and only men can be punished. Fifth, a petition on whether legislators facing criminal cases should be disqualified at the stage of charges being framed against them. And sixth, a petition before the bench which concerns taxation, while the seventh case relates to consumer law. Even a cursory understanding of these key matters is enough to tell you why Chief Justice Mishra may be keeping the four dissenting judges away. The point here is that all four of these judges are said to be progressive and liberal-minded and believe that the judiciary is really a mirror of the radical changes sweeping across the land, which means that you cannot hold back the storm of ideas that young Indians believe in, whether it's about homosexuality or gender equality or adultery. So the question now is, how is this crisis in the judiciary going to be resolved and when? Time will tell, of course. The hope is that justice will be served to the people of India before it is too little or too late.